Sunday is just the start because that's where everything really begins. So you get the word, you get worship, you get fellowship, you get all those things, but then how do you take that into your week? How do you take that to work? How do you take that uh, to your neighbors, your friends? So we, we really have always thought Sunday is just the start because that's where you get kind of your juice for the week. But then how do you apply it to your life? I really just feel, I, I always say that the best thing about being a human is other humans, right? And people just give me life. It's where I get my energy. And I really feel like being around God's people throughout the week just really helps me stay focused and energized and it just really helps me. See, life is important uh, for us specifically because I don't know what we would do through the week without it. Uh, we really look forward to sharing the word with others, encouraging others, being encouraged by others, and really just following up and digging deeper into the Sunday sermon and teaching series. And definitely the, the follow-up through the week, the prayer and things like that. If we didn't have our group, uh, I, I don't know what we'd do. We've, we've gone without groups at, at points in our life and it's just not the same. It's, it's kind of a game changer for us, so. It's really built connections that I wouldn't have had without um, stepping outside of my comfort zone to meet new people. I have friends today that I would not have had had I not gone in to try different sea lifes. I know more people today in the church because I took the step to just try something new. How do we get beyond Sunday morning and then how do we even get beyond sea life uh, as it's kind of uh, intended to be is how do we then take that next step to even spend time digging even d deeper with other couples. So we've really enjoyed that aspect of it as well. I think time and time again in the Bible, it talks about how God's people were always meeting, right? They were, it was never just on the Sabbath. And they were in community together, they helped one another, they ate together, right? So I think the more that we can do that, the more that we can get down to the root of what God designed our church to actually look like. And the more we can help one another and know each other's needs and desires and just build, build the village that we were intended to be.